this video, you'll learn how to create an invoice just like this one for your own business and share it with your clients right from your phone or laptop. And the best news is we're using 100% free tools. So make sure to pay extra attention to the second part of this video because that's when we'll be turning this normal Canva invoice into a practically automated one that does any calculations for you. So welcome to the Code of Female Excellence and let's get started. So step number one is choosing the style of your invoice in Canva and you may choose any style that you like. But for the purpose of this tutorial, we'll be using this free template that I'm linking down below for you. You can see that at the top right corner of this template, there's an area for your logo. So all you need to do is upload your logo into your Canva library. Click it and place it right where you want it to go. You can then delete any placeholders underneath it by going to Position, Layers, and deleting the placeholder. And for this part, it might be better to keep your guides on, mainly because it's easier to see if the alignment is right. So to show or hide your guides in Canva, just go to File, Settings, and click Show Rulers and Guides. Now at the top of your invoice is your client's name and contact information. So just make sure to come back to this and fill it out right before sending your invoice. A super helpful tip here is having a document with all your business information so you can simply copy and paste things more easily. You can copy and paste your name or the name of your business your business address your email or phone number and then copy and paste your payment information, which is what your client will use to pay for this invoice. So make sure to include details like the name of your bank, the account holder name, which you can check with your bank, but it's usually your name or the name of your business and your bank account number. Then you can start adding your invoice items. So go right ahead and add your first item. Then add its price, the quantity, which is how many of this product or service your client is purchasing from your business. Now, if you have more than one product or service to include in this invoice, you can add them as well. Next, you can delete any text or values that you won't be using. And if you want to learn how to manually calculate your invoice fields each time you send an invoice, this part of the video will be very useful for you. But if you want your invoice to automatically do any calculations for you, you can click on the timestamp below and go straight to that section. So to calculate the subtotals for each item, simply multiply your unit price by the quantity and the result is your subtotal for that item. Next, to calculate this subtotal right here, we'll be adding each subtotal from the items that we just calculated. For this example, we have one item price at $100, and on line 2, we have two units of our second item priced at $100 each. So $100 plus $200 gives us a subtotal of $300 before tax. Now if there's any tax to be collected, we can calculate it too. But if there's no tax, I'll also be teaching you how to adjust your invoice for that in a few moments. Now this may be different depending on where you live, so make sure to do your research about any tax regulations and requirements you have to comply with. So for example, if we have to add an 8% tax, 
all we need to do is take our subtotal amount and multiply it by 0, 0.0 and the value of our tax. So we'll just multiply 300, which is our subtotal before tax, by 0, 0.08, our tax value, and this gives us a tax amount of $24. So we'll be typing that in the tax field. And now, to calculate our grand total, we'll just be adding our subtotal before tax plus the tax that we just calculated, and that gives us our grand total, which is $324. And if you live somewhere where you're not required to collect any tax with your sales, you can easily adjust your invoice by just copying this total cell right here and pasting it on this other cell right here, and your grand total will be ready. You can then delete these two rows by pressing Shift on your keyboard, then selecting them, clicking on these three dots right here and selecting delete two rows. You can also delete this subtotal right here and you'll be ready to continue. Now you can add your invoice number and the date of your invoice. And if you've given your client any payment or credit terms, which is the amount of days that they have before paying for your invoice, you can specify that right here. But if you want your client to pay for this invoice right away, you can just use the same date for the invoice and its due date. And if you want to add your name with a thank you right here, you can do that by simply clicking and typing your name in the placeholder. And now your Canva invoice is ready to be sent to your client. All you need to do is click Share, Download, select your file type, which is usually a PDF file, and download. On your phone, you can repeat the same process. Just tap the option to share, download, select your file type, and tap download. So are you ready to make your way into a beautiful world where you can just type your amounts and your invoice magically does any calculations and math work for you? So we just created our invoice using Canva and now we're ready to turn it into a self-calculating one. So head on over to the link below where you'll find this ready to go Google Sheets online template. Now all you need to do is copy and paste your business information onto your Sheets file. And maybe you'll notice that your cells have lost their formatting when you did this but this is easily fixable by just selecting this upper cell right above your new cells, then selecting this paint format tool right here, and then dragging the original formatting onto the business details that you just pasted. Then copy and paste your invoice items, and you can use that same trick right here. And their prices. Then you can delete any unnecessary fields. So to automatically calculate each subtotal, we'll just delete the zero value that we have and simply type the equal sign on your keyboard. Now select your unit price, then type the asterisk symbol, which is the multiply sign in Google Sheets and Excel. Then click on the quantity of your first item and just hit enter to get this first subtotal. So for your next subtotal, just repeat the steps once again. Select the price of your second item then the asterisk or star symbol, the quantity of your second item, and hit enter. And if, for example, you have any more items on your invoice, you can also use this super quick trick by selecting the bottom right corner of this subtotal and dragging it until all your subtotals have been calculated. Now to sum all your subtotals, just go to the subtotal cell right here, delete the zero value, and type the equal symbol. 
and then just drag it across your entire subtotals column. And your subtotal line should now be ready. Then we'll calculate our tax. And we'll do this by selecting this cell right here next to tax, delete any values in it, and type the equal symbol. Then selecting this subtotal cell right above it, then the asterisk symbol, and then type 0.0, .0 and the value of our tax. So for this example, if we're using an 8% tax, we'll be typing the number 8 and hit enter to calculate our tax. To calculate your grand total, just go to the cell right next to total, delete any values in it, then click the subtotal right above it, and then type the plus symbol on your keyboard and click this tax value that we just calculated and hit enter. So your invoice calculations are now ready and all there's left to do is add your logo by going to this upper menu right here. Click insert image, insert image over cells. Then just drag and drop your logo right here, place it where you want it to go and delete the logo placeholder. Then just copy and paste your invoice number, the date of your invoice, and the payment date. You can type your name right here on top of the thank you message. And now your invoice is ready to be shared with your client. Just go to the upper menu right here, click File, Download, select your file type, which is usually a PDF file. And if your layout looks a bit off, simply adjust your margin settings to narrow or wide, depending on your case. And on scale, click Fit to Page and click Export. And to do this from your phone, just tap the three dots at the upper right corner of your screen, select Share and Export, select Save As, select PDF Document, and OK. And if you don't see the option to share it from here, you can also check your Google Drive files. Just tap the three dots next to your invoice file and then tap the option send a copy and simply select how you want to share your invoice. And now you're ready to write a polite message to your client saying, hey, how's everything going? Here's my invoice. I'm happy to answer any questions for you. And there you have it, your beautiful self-calculating invoice that automatically does any repetitive math work for you. If you have any questions or this didn't work right for you, please share any questions in the comments section down below. And if you found this video helpful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing to Kitty Mobile for more tutorials like this one.